Hey everybody, what's up? So this is Aqua and Spiritual, another reading. So for some reason, I want to grab one of these really quick. This is going to be a, um, a random cup, but it's connected to the weekly cup here. Go home, Roger. Being annoyed, being, being annoyed by a certain group or single person around you. Yeah, you're being annoyed right now for some reason. Leave me alone. Need time to think. I put need time to think, but need time to think. Eye rolls, telling people off, grow up, immature person. Could be a childhood friend that lives near you or in your neighborhood. Like they're around you. It doesn't have to be that they live near you, but they're like around your neighborhood here. And it, I'll, wow. Okay, hold on. Listening to your intuition, especially around Libra season, October, Chinese year of the rooster. Find it, you're finding out something. Things are coming to light here. Secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. High priestess energy. Maybe you're going to find out somebody was false. A fake soulmate or a twin flame. A fake friend. This could have been someone that was ghosting you, breadcrumbing you. Move on. No support from others. Yeah, and this was like a big wake-up call from the universe. Something needs to end. Like right now, maybe you have a fear of change. Time to take the mask off. You could be torn between two people here. Yeah, one of a kind. So you're being seen as one of a kind. Maybe you do something in, in your career that's unique. Or this is someone that's coming towards you. Emperor and Empress energy here. This could be a divine counterpart here. New person you never met. Very attractive at this time. Exciting time. You could be going viral if you have a social platform. 12, 12, 14, 32, and number one. Meeting the one here. A lot of you are meeting the one. Maybe in three days, three weeks, three months from now. Chinese year of the tiger, Pisces. You're going to be getting married soon. You're getting a high five from the universe. You're being noticed in your business. Job well done. And you're saying no to something because you're like, no, I'm done. And it's a complete sentence here. Yeah, because you're a big shot now. You don't give a shit about anybody or anything. You're the one. You won. You're boss level. You're getting money. You're getting some kind of big windfall here. It's some kind of life-changing event that's happening. And you're, you're buying something that's beyond here, a luxury purchase. So let's see. I want to say Taurus and Aries, so maybe those seasons are significant. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a big windfall here. You have gossip here with this parrot talking shit. Pay attention to your dreams. So what are we seeing here? I'm seeing a fish right here. So Pisces, definitely. Money, big time. I'm, she I'm seeing a cheese grater here. <laughs> For some reason, I'm having a hard time talking. Cheese grater. So something that's annoying, it's a burden here. It is. It's annoying. Letter R. Someone's annoying you. I'm seeing Italian, like Italy here. So maybe someone could be like Italian, Leo here, Chinese ear of the horse, Cancer. You have a why, so yes to your question. There's definitely competition here. People are butting heads. There's a a manifestation that you buried. You 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 know, you you dug a hole, you buried it, you're nurturing it, but you have competition here. Chinese Chinese ear of the rat. Capricorn, you have competition here. Chinese year of the monkey, Virgo. Maybe in nine days you're going to notice that. Or something on the ninth. Chinese year of the tigers here as well. Someone is holding in their feelings. Like it, it's trapped here. But it's about to erupt. You have Chinese year of the monkey, Virgo. Chinese year of the dragon here as well. There's protection from the dragon spirit. It's giving you um, confidence, strength. To move forward in the situation. 999 I'm seeing here. That's your angel number. 999, baby. You have the 19th could be significant as well. I'm also seeing something with an oven here. 1111. Actually, 111111 is here. Letter M. Oven. Something's cooking. Something's baking. Something is being nourished here. There could be trouble and accusations as well. Maybe someone's accusing you of something. There could be some kind of arguments here. Number five, change. There's going to be a change in dynamic, a change in your home, 
and a change in how you do things. Someone could be getting fired here as well. Someone's losing their job. But you could be the one replacing them. So I'm hearing it takes one to know one. That's what I just heard. Chinese here, the goat. Sagittarius is here. Leo, letter L. And I'm hearing, Lehu, Zeher, you know, from like Ace Ventura. So someone's an effing loser. So they can just kick rocks. Bye. They could suck eggs. They can go away. You have a big windfall here. You're winning. Letter E. And I'm seeing a spool of yarn, like wrapping, like getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is like rapid, fast growth all of a sudden happening. You have a camel here. So you persevered through burdens, through po problems here, especially if you're Chinese here, the uh, horse. And I just wanted to, I wanted to say ghost here. So spirit's been literally helping you grow with this rapid growth. Like all of a sudden it's like picking up. Something's going really quick here. You can't stop it. 33 is the magic number. It's a master number here. You're getting the key to success. One at a time, I'm hearing. One at a time. Letter N. And there's a there's a train here. So it's coming very quickly here. You can't stop it. You cannot stop this train. It's it's coming now. Great worry over nothing. So get out of the way. Get out of your own way. You know, because it's it's coming in now. Enjoy it, I'm hearing. Enjoy it. You're taking a trip here. It could be an 11. So November literally could be or the 11th day or 11 months from now or 11 weeks from now. It's something with 11 here, but it's connected to Sagittarius and you have a number 10 here. So again, Libra, Chinese year of the rooster. Libra season is going to be significant. Chinese year of the pig is here and you have a dolphin. So it's friendship. It's love. It's partnership. It's trustworthy things in your life with somebody else one particular person they could have a lot of uh air energy libra gemini aquarius like this person's very smart like because i'm seeing a light bulb here you're getting a light bulb moment like an epiphany of something but this person is like very smart like maybe they're gonna enlighten you about something and you're gonna be like wow that makes sense you know and for some reason, I want this to go quick. This is like a quick cup here. Yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. You have eight of wands here. Like you're getting news information very quickly. It's like so fast that you're not even going to be able to uh, like comprehend it. I'm hearing. Yeah, number seven. Look, that just literally made a seven. It's connected to that air sign person. Seven, seven days, seven hours could be for some of you. That's what I'm seeing on that. It's very quick. I know it's like very strange, but let's see. Ace of Wands. Cassiopeia. Yeah, it's like passionate. It's fast. Could be fire as well. Leo Sagittarius, Aries, especially Sagittarius here. Yeah, as I'm saying that, look at this, the Eight of Wands. Did I not just say that five seconds ago? A-R-A -A could be significant. Those letters. Maybe someone has two A's in their name. Eight of Wands, bro. Chinese year of the goat. Five of Wands. Whatever this communication is, this fast. And look at this. It's like on fire here. It could be connected to music and air too. Air energy. Mars. That's what I'm getting here. Mars. And Venus. Yeah, Jupiter, Leo. Um, there's an Ace of Cups here, though. It's like a blessing after arguments and fights there's a standstill here yeah ace of swords yeah you're getting clarity and truth look at this you can't make this up in the spring maybe spring springtime could be an earth energy coming in bringing you this truth okay i guess that's it capricorn which we already know sexy af the devil's here bringing you a lot of abundance this is a lot of money here quick communication from a capricorn could be yeah, and Scorpio's here and Leo. A lot of Leo. This person has a lot of Leo in their chart. Six of Wands. It's a victory, especially with your money, your finances here. Oh, no, you didn't. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's a Capricorn, straight up. This person's bringing stability, groundness to you, like grounding energy. Seven of Swords. Maybe you're not expecting this. They could have Aries placements. Chinese here, the rabbit. 
You are not expecting this shit. You got a little Gemini here, a little Mercury, Five of Cups. This person is not going to tell you everything that they're going through because they don't want to scare you. Especially if they have Capricorn. Um, not Capricorn. Well, I said Capricorn, but I was going to say um, Scorpio. This person's very deep, but they're not, they're not going to tell you all these emotions because, you know, they take a little bit of time to trust. This person's been hurt before. They don't trust people like that. But for some, yeah, look, Scorpio, but they feel very connected to you emotionally. This could be like a psychic connection here. This could be water and earth person, or you both are like water and earth. Something with that. But that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. Just a quick cup. I hope you enjoyed this. And I love you guys. Thank you for being here always. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.